All right, so let's uh, start modeling here. So first of all, I'm going to take uh, care about the um, the main plate uh, in that watch here where the text, the, the Rolex text and the stuff like that is on. So let's start in by creating those uh, three holes here that are in that plate. Um, to do this, create a polygon cylinder. So mine, uh, my defaults are set to a subdivision axis of 20. So be aware of that. And let's um, try to delete uh, the top and the uh, down bottom, the bottom faces. Okay, so select uh, all of those and then control deselect the faces in the middle and shift select all those faces and then control to uh, select and deselect um, the faces here. So that you only have um, the top and the bottom faces, so delete those. And with that object selected, let me go to the top view and let's bring that down to the center of that part here. So bring this right to the center and then let's scale it up so that it uh, comes to the size of the background image here. So we might want to move that down just a little bit. Uh, somewhere it comes close. So let me hit a 3 to go to the smooth uh, version here. That looks good to me. So with that done, um, let's um, do some tweaks on that cylinder. So first of all, let's scale that down a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more. And let's insert an edge loop here, one here. And we also want to take the um, border edge here, so double click on that and extrude that out just a little bit like this. And we can put in another edge loop in here. So select uh, one of those uh, edges here and uh, control right click, go to the edge ring utilities and go to edge ring and split. Okay, so with that piece done here, let's um, do two copies of that. So go to the top view and say, okay, hit control D. So and if you hit W, you, know, you have the pivot in the center of that object. So we want to change that. Go uh, hit D, hit X, and middle mouse to the center of the grid so that the pivot is right here in the center. So now let's rotate the, our, um, our copy here. And let's rotate that in Y something like 263.5. So if you zoom in on that, that should work fine. And let's hit Control D to copy that once more and bring that over here and say rotate that in Y 96.5. So that uh, it is in the same position um, as th this one here, but only on the other side. Okay. So with that done, we are now ready to connect those pieces. Um, let's um, select all of those objects and say combine. So with those um, objects combined, we go in and take the append polygon tool and let's try to connect uh, all the pieces here. So select on this edge and on this one to um, append it and then hit a G to repeat the last tool and do what I'm doing here. So just connect in those pieces and once more, it's gonna be the last one there. And let's connect this edge to this one here on the other side and this one to this one. Oops, let me undo that. This one to this one. G to repeat the last tool always. And finally this one here. And we have to do the same thing on the other part here. And finally this one. So that looks good. So now to fill this hole here, um, we have first um, make a split on, on this part here. So to do this, uh, select one of those edges here and then again, control, right click, go to the edge ring utilities and then go to edge ring and split. And now take the append uh, to polygon tool and let's append uh, this to this one here, hit G, and finally to fill that hole, boom. 
there you go so now we have um, the inner piece almost done so what we need now is um, yeah, something to connect this so first of all we need to know how many edges um, we uh, have all around this piece here so to uh, figure that out just double click on the border edge and up here on my poly count uh, you see up here uh, I've now got 32 edges selected so this number here is now important when we create um, the outer part of this okay so let's go in and um, create another cylinder here and this time um, Again, we want to uh, delete um, the uh, all the uh, top and uh, bottom faces as we did before. But first of all, oh, almost forgot it. Um, go into the inputs and um, type in the uh, number 32. So we need 32 edges to connect this uh, later on. So with the 32 faces created here on the subdivisions, um, again, let's uh, select the uh, top and the bottom faces and delete those and now take the object and let's scale that up um, to the size of that watch here can be a little bit larger because um, yeah you won't even see later on the part up here so okay so with that done let's uh, scale that guy down and we can even scale it down more and now we want to um, move um, the pivot of that uh, cylinder that we just made here um, to the uh, upper or top top here. So doing this by holding down uh, D and then first um, move this guy up in Y and then hit a V and hover over one of those vertex uh, here and middle mouse and that should automatically, automatically bring that pivot up to this point here. So now we want to move this thing to um, this place here. So move it up first a, a tiny bit in, in Y and then hit a V and middle mouse over a vertex on this line here. So now if you go to the side view, you see that um, those border edges here are on the same level. Yeah. So with that done, we are now ready to um, connect those pieces. So to do this, select both um, objects and again say combine. And now let's uh, first check out the normals of that piece of geometry here. So I've got a um, button on my shelf here uh, to show the face normals on and off, but you will find that under display, polygons, um, and down here face normals. So if you hit uh, control shift and click on that you will put it on onto your shelf as well. So let me um, show the face normals and what you see here um, is that those normals here are pointing uh, this way and from the first um, piece of geometry that we have those uh, normals are pointing in the wrong direction. So to fix that um, let me turn off the face normals. Um, you have to select all the faces from that first piece that we uh, made here. So let's uh, select those, all of those. Uh, let me go to the top view and um, take my lasso tool here and go to face and select all of those faces and with those faces selected you can go up here to normals and say reverse so now what we should have is um, the f uh, normals all pointing outwards yeah like this so and now um, let's select that border edge here and the border edge from the in inside part and say go to edit mesh and use the bridge tool. So that looks a little bit weird here, but if you go up here to the inputs and go to the bridge offset and rotate that. So yeah, this is this is what I want. This is exactly what I want. So my bridge offset is now set to five and this is looking good. Okay, so we are ready um, with the first piece here. So let me pause the video and I'll be back uh, in the next one.